We're going to take a brief look back at some of the major news events in Long Beach and highlight some upcoming events. For more details on everything we discuss, be sure to visit gazettes.com. The verdict came in this week on a civil wrongful death suit that arose from an incident late in the afternoon of December 12, 2010 in Belmont Shore. Doug Zerby was shot and killed by two Long Beach police officers, answering a call from a nearby resident who believed Zerby was armed. He was handling a grip hose nozzle. The family sued the police officers, and last Wednesday a jury returned a verdict finding the officers and the city liable on several counts. The jury awarded Zerby's father $2 million, his mother $1 million, and his son $3.5 million. As this is recorded, it is unknown whether the city, which represented the officers, will appeal. The Port of Long Beach has voted to support an appeal of the approval of a major rail yard project next to Long Beach. The Port of Los Angeles has approved plans for a 153-acre complex that would be built next to West Long Beach. Opponents of the project are concerned that the plan does not adequately address the potential pollution from the rail yard. Mayor Bob Foster spoke against the project at the hearing and the City Council voted to appeal the decision the following week. At the Long Beach Harbor meeting on Monday, Harbor Commission President Susan Wise said that while it's important to improve rail facilities, emissions must be reduced. Her words were, everyone can do better on this project that has been done. The Commission then voted to join the appeal. The plan for a temporary pool in the Belmont Plaza parking lot will get a hearing on Monday before the city zoning administrator. Under consideration is a temporary pool to be used while plans for a permanent replacement for the Belmont Plaza swimming complex are approved and construction takes place. October is the target for the temporary pool to open. The permanent pool will take at least three years. All this is necessary because the permanent pool was closed last year due to seismic damage. A record number of sea lion pups are being stranded on Southern California beaches, including Long Beach. The reason for this situation is not known. What is known is that the Marine Mammal Care Center in San Pedro, which handles the problem, is that the facility has had to take care of more than 400 sea lions this year, compared with 36 in the same time frame last year. If you see a sea lion on the beach, don't try to help or get too close. It might just be resting or it might be ill. Call Animal Care Services at 570-PEAT, that's 570-7387. More details on all these stories are available at our website, gazettes.com. Now here's a short look at some events coming up in Long Beach. Two kinds of music on Saturday night. The Bach Festival presents King of Love at 7.30 p.m. at the Belmont Heights United Methodist Church. And the Pops Concert features music of the 60s in the arena starting at 8, but the doors open at 6.30 for picnicking. There's a walk for Ronald McDonald Houses of Southern California starting at 8 a.m. Sunday in Shoreline Park. And Friday, D.L. Hughley headlines a comedy show at starting at 8 p.m. in the Terrace Theater. We'll look for you around the town and we'll see you back here next week. I'm Kurt A. Eichstead reporting almost live for Gazettes.com.